Hey everyone, welcome to this revision video for reconstructive memory. We are going to go through the real key things that you need to know about this theory and the key study to go with it. So that means going through theory itself, what does it say about memory, how does it work, the evaluation of that theory, which is a very popular exam question, the key war of the ghost study and the evaluation of that study. Now the absolute key thing to remember for this topic is to be really, really careful in the exam to uh, double check the question, to try and decide and work out, are they asking for you to talk about the theory or are they asking for you to talk about the study? Every year I always see students um, in their mocks, um, mix them up and they haven't carefully read the question. So that's really important. Um, so let's go through the key things that you need to know. So the first thing is the theory of reconstructive memory itself. And the basic idea of the theory is that when we have a new memory or when an event happens, when an event happens, we only remember the, the gist of the memory. We don't remember all of the details. So if you, I don't know, go and watch a new film at the cinema, uh, you're never going to remember every single part of that film. You're going to remember the key details. You're going to remember the key character, the key plot line, but you're going to sort of forget lots of the minor things that happen along the way. Uh, and when someone asks you to recall that memory, what tends to happen is you use that gist to guide you and remember the key parts of the memory of the film and then you kind of start to fill in the gaps of the bits that you can't remember with information that just fits you know information that sounds like it it's correct and this is kind of why we all remember things slightly differently so this whole process is called effort after meaning and it's it's this simple idea that you only remember the gist of a memory and you fill the rest of it in later on you know, with that effort after the memory with things that just fit from our knowledge. OK, they just fit with the story. So as a memory theory itself, if we've got you know, an exam question to explain this theory, I'd be looking for key things like um, keywords like gist, uh, keywords like effort after meaning, keywords like um, recreate the memory and uh, things like words like from our knowledge or our experiences. In terms of evaluating the theory, which is also a very popular question, uh, there's a couple of key things that I think I would focus in on and not worry too much about getting too complicated. Um, I would firstly say it's a really, really important memory theory for the police to know about. Um, now that the police know about it, we know that the police should be really careful when they are dealing with a witness to a event uh, such as a car crash or a robbery or a, um, a knife uh, crime or something like that because we now know that the witness thinks that they're recalling the story really accurately but they might have recreated it and reconstructed that memory and some of what they're telling us might not be true so we now know that the police should really try to get that witness as get to that witness as fast as possible so that they're not reconstructing the memory. Uh, it's also really useful as a theory because it lets us understand why two people might tell me the same story but tell me completely different versions of that story. Um, they're not lying, they're not, you know, they're not telling porkies, they are literally just telling me what they've recreated in their brain. Uh, because they've got different knowledge and different experiences and that's why they tell me different stories uh, and finally the other good thing that I would say um, about this memory theory is that it's got evidence from research to support it and back it up um, so the war of the ghosts story and study which I'll talk about in just a second uh, shows us that people do reconstruct memories however on the negative um, a bad, if you like, a bad evaluation of reconstructive memory theory is I would use our knowledge about flashbulb memories. So we know that flashbulb memories are super powerful memories that 
don't require any form of rehearsal. Uh, they're just really powerful and emotional and vivid, and they almost burn into our memories um, because they're so powerful. These memories are never reconstructed. It's not a case of remembering the gist and adding details. We just remember these de these memories in massive detail because they're so powerful and emotional. So that kind of just shows us that not all memories are reconstructed. So that shows that reconstructive memory doesn't explain every single memory that's out there. Now onto the research um, that links to reconstructive memory. It's the famous War of the Ghosts study. And uh, Bartlett wanted to test the idea of reconstructive memory, he wanted to find out if he gave people something that was unfamiliar to them, would they change it and reconstruct the memory? So what he did is he got himself a group of British participants and he gave them a very unusual Native American story called War of the Ghosts. And he simply just asked them to read it and do their best to recall it as accurately as possible. Now, it's a very strange story. Um, you can Google it and find it quite easily. And it definitely is not something from the English culture. Um, there's words in there that make it quite difficult to understand. And as the British participants were asked to recall it, this is what happened. They changed large parts of the story so it would make more sense to them because it was quite confusing. And there are lots of words in there that aren't really from British um, culture that frequently. And the biggest example was the word canoes. Most British participants would change the word canoes to boat. And every time that they retold the story, they just changed it more and more and more, um, keeping the main gist, but changing those minor details because it just made it easier for them to remember. And in terms of what this showed us is that this showed great support for the theory of reconstructive memory, that we do remember the gist of a story. And when we have to recall it, we do change it and edit it based on our past experiences and our past knowledge and this means that we recreate the memory so it makes more sense to us so this is great support for the theory of reconstructive memory now you might be asked in the exam to evaluate this study and the easiest way to do this is to go down a bit of a negative route um, talk about some negatives of the study. So things like commenting on the low ecological validity because it's a very unnatural task. It's not that often that we do try and just remember the key details of such a unusual story. So this tells us that the participant behavior may not be completely natural. So we have to, you know, be careful how far we trust the results uh, in terms of whether or not the behavior would replicate into the real world. The story itself has been criticized for being a bad choice of story. Um, it's a really confusing story. Uh, if you're in my class, we've read it. It is pretty confusing. Uh, in places, it doesn't really make sense to us British people. Um, so it could have been that because the British participants just didn't understand it. They couldn't remember it. Um, and we know that if you can't understand something, remembering it and sort of getting it stuck into your memory is a really hard problem anyway. So maybe that was causing the memory failure, not the fact that we were reconstructing the memory. So maybe the story wasn't a very good choice. And finally, it's quite easy to criticize the study for its sample. Uh, we can comment on the fact that he only used British participants, and this is quite bad in terms of the generalization. Um, we don't know if reconstructive memory is just a British thing. Do, you know, is it just British people that recreate memories and reconstruct memories, or does it happen in other cultures? From this research, we can't say. Okay, guys, that's a quick wrap on the reconstructive memory. Uh, we've run through key theory, the evaluation, the key study and the evaluation. And remember, uh, like I said at the start, in the exam for this question in particular, it's just really, really important that you double check what is the question talking about. Is it talking about the theory or is it talking about the study of reconstructive memory? If you don't mix it up, you'll be absolutely fine.